Wolf von Solingen. Wolf von Solingen from Team 3. The last on the block. Almost there. Looks like I'm the only one who didn't uh, learn its text by heart. So just confirming the cliche about students and deadlines, I guess. Well, we're all here gathered today to think about the future of Tilburg University. Every team, every presentation, and every idea wants to contribute to a university that's ready for 2025 and beyond, to an advancing university. And that's why I'm standing here today, to contribute to this process on behalf of University Forum. And for those who do not know us yet, we will shortly explain our initiative. At the beginning of this academic year, University Forum was founded as a platform where all student parties of the University Council and the Faculty Councils and the student assessors come together. And at our meetings, we share best practices, update each other on relevant issues, and where possible also come up with collective ideas and opinions. And together we form a unity, enabling us to join forces and become even more effective and thus valuable for the students we represent. And that's exactly what we want to do today. We want to show what's important for the students and how this can be translated into action for the next years. Understanding students advancing university, so to speak. We believe that a university has two core duties. The duty of performing uh, academic research and providing academic education. And these two should be the center of the new strategic plan as well. And as students, we want to focus on the ec education part. And that's because in the terms of references, in the reference we were provided for the discussion on this new strategic plan, we missed one dimension. Because to determine what kind of university we want to be and how we want to distinguish ourselves, it also, it's not only important to think about students in terms of numbers, but also in terms of who we want to educate. We see this, and we call this Student 2025. And this has several perspectives, uh, yeah, perspectives. That of the prospective student, how do we want to get students here? How do we want to keep them here and keep them satisfied? And how do we want to create alumni that are loyal and successful? Understanding students. The first step in this process is understanding the students. As a university, we must determine what our task is, what our role should be in the lives of the students. And what's most important in this role is that we must realize that the study period is a formative period in the lives of the students. The student should be the owner of his or, or, of his or her, her own development, and this is a combination of freedom and responsibility. They have the freedom and flexibility to decide whether and how to grow, but also have to live up to expectations set by university, society, and the work field. And in determining our role, we must keep this combination in mind. The university must facilitate and stimulate the students in the best way possible. It must hand them the tools so that they themselves can choose how they want to grow. And with this idea on the ro role of university as a starting point, we came up with two points we shortly want to address. That of student centricity and of data-driven education. Determining and defining the student of 2025 is a good step, but it will not be enough. We must make sure that in the future, we won't look back and conclude that we have not done enough to serve the student of 2025. This is why we should make a point of student centricity. In our eyes, this means that the university should create an environment that optimally facilitates and stimulates the combination of freedom and responsibility, and at the same time, make the students feel at home. This way, we reach optimal student well-being and optimal TIU-shaped education, and it's an investment which will pay off in terms of the image and popularity of our university. To make this possible, we think it would be a good idea to make this explicit in every policy document. How does a certain decision contribute to our vision of Student 2025? This forces policymakers and participation organs to keep the vision in mind, to not let it fade away, but keep it the main focus point of our attention for student and educational policy. And besides this general idea, we also try to come up with a specific example of what we think would be good for the student of 2025. And we came up with the idea of data-driven education. Everywhere around us, data plays a role in our life and helps us to make decisions. Think of companies like Facebook and Google. 
but why not use our own expertise and the data we can collect to create an environment in which students can be helped with this information. Using data offers endless possibilities. Think of improving education by analyzing the way in which students study. Think of analyzing the, the views of video lectures and trying to analyze the course evaluations in another way. Or for example, mapping alumni to give, to give a better insight in career opportunities. Or of suggestions for extracurricular trainings or activities or elective courses that fit the capabilities and ambitions of the students, custom made. With the ePortfolio as an ideal framework, we believe that data-driven education could be a unique tool, a way to serve our students like no one else can. And that's exactly our point. This is why it's so important to take student centricity as an element on which we should build our university. Because by taking Student 2025, as one of the orient orientation points on our horizon, we can create success for students, and by that, success for Tilburg University. Thank you.